4 and 0. Likely those numbers played through the minds of Timfew soccer players a couple of dozen times as they were going to sleep last night. For Timfew, those numbers now signify a thorough trouncing on home turf, a deflation of an image of themselves and the team which they had thought incapable of such a loss. But such a loss leaves Timfew players with a choice. To borrow some religious imagery, a loss such as this can serve as either a stumbling block or a stepping stone. They may not realize it, but Timfew soccer teams have been making this same choice for almost a decade, and it has almost always been the former one. Timfew teams start out the season with gleaming yellow stars in their eyes. They win a few games, and it seems their predictions may be true. And then, that original image comes crashing down with a humbling defeat. From there, it's a mediocre to good season. They make the playoffs, they lose in the first or second rounds, and that's it. Seniors head off to other things, and the rest promise themselves, next year will be different. That may be the Timfew soccer tradition, but there's nothing necessary about it. It's always been a choice. The same choice I brought up at the beginning of the season. Will we play the same old kick the ball up the field and hope one of our good players does something amazing? Or will we play the beautiful game? To date, it has not been beautiful. Sure, they may have athleticism. They may have some good players. And they know the basic object of the game is to stick the ball in the other team's net. But that won't do it. Playing the beautiful game means high combinative creativity. It means seeing things five seconds before they happen. It means knowing your own capabilities and that of your teammates, and playing to maximize your teammates' strengths and minimize their weaknesses. Just watch Barcelona play at the Camp Nou for five minutes, and you begin to see what I'm talking about. I'm curious. Curious to see if the spirit of this Timfew soccer team is conservative traditionalist or radical progressive.